Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're at uh, National Toronto Pearson Airport. Uh, my name is Kevin. Let's take a look at some of the vehicles here. Again, just a quick reminder, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to see more of these videos, give the video a quick like. Thanks everyone, all my uh, current subscribers. Just past 900 on the way to 1,000. And we'll get started off. Premier selection here. We got a Chrysler 300. And it's... Uh, 300S, it's got the moonroof, we got a Cadillac XT5 here beside it. And over here, it looks like this one's, uh, yeah, this one's reserved for somebody here, this uh, Mercedes GL300. And just a quick thank you to uh, one of the subscribers who gave me the, gave me the tips on identifying some of these vehicles. I'll see if I can do a better job here. Okay, so we got a VW, got a Hyundai Santa Fe, Ford Edge. Actually, we've got two Ford Edges here. And, okay. Got so many cars here. This is kind of like the overflow. Oh boy, hey. Yeah, whatever you're looking for is probably buried in there. Well, anyway, let's let's go back to the, uh, the other side of the executive aisle. Actually, somebody, uh, shout out to the uh, subscriber who was asking about the Escape. So here's actually a good one to take a look at here. It's a titanium, so this will be fully loaded. And let's take a look inside here. These usually have the Sonio audio system. And we're kind of squeezed in here, but let's try and give you a bit of a view of this. So it's got about 12,000 kilometers on it. So they're usually fairly loaded, although, yeah, this one doesn't have the sunroof, but that's okay. So you can have a peek here. This would be really nice. The titanium is the higher trim on these. here. Display from the radio, display from the dash. And it looks like it's got the heated and cooled seats. And we'll take a quick look in the back here. These are actually great on gas. Really good fuel economy in these. And there you go. Quick peek at the uh, Ford Escape. And let's just continue on here. The other side of the executive aisle. And we got a Corolla, we got a RAV4, Mitsubishi. Got another Escape here. This actually, this one looks a little bit newer. Oh, and this one has the sunroof. So if you're looking for one, you know, let's just take a quick... Okay, so here's another Escape. I don't think this is the titanium, or you know it might be. Okay, so this is an SEL, but it's got that glass roof, which you might want to look for if you're ever renting one of these. So the same interior, but then you get, so there you can see the, uh, the big uh, glass roof, sunroof. And, oh, you know, it looks like that actually even opens, which would be pretty nice. All right, let's continue on with the executive aisle here. Where did we leave off? I think we left off with this escape that we looked at. Okay, and then we got a Santa Fe beside it. Got one of these Kias. Oh, here's that 1941 uh, Jeep Wrangler. Another RAV4. Got a VW. And look at this. You know, this is another Jeep. Islander. Man, I don't know what all these trims are. This one actually... Okay, CVZ. Or Z, as they'd say in Canada here. Alright, let's have a quick look inside this one here. See if the interior. Oh, the interior is a little bit different. Okay, so look at this, guys. It's uh, got the white trim, and it says Islander on the seats. Oh man, how awesome is all these special trims here showing up? And this one's got just over eight thousand, almost nine thousand kilometers on it. And uh, I don't know if there's anything special. Okay, we got a Malibu over here. Got a Ford Escape. Correction, Ford Edge. Sorry, <laughs> that one. I think that one's got the sunroof in it. And we got another Malibu. We got a Rav4 coming down here. All right, let's just take a look at the regular Emerald Isle here. We got a Corolla. We got a VW. Got another VW here. 
I'm still having a hard time with these VWs, the Jetta versus the Facade. So this one's bigger. Is it a VW or a Jetta? Jetta, okay. Well, I gotta make note, if I see a Facade, I gotta make note of that. Yeah, we got another Corolla, we got somebody taking this RAV4, we got a Chevy kind of coming in here, Trailblazer. And I'm just gonna pan over here, we got somebody picking up a car over there. Uh, another Hyundai Kona, Corolla, looks like they got a couple Corollas in. Smaller Ford SUV, another Kia, Mitsubishi. Another uh, smaller Hyundai, got a Kia. And we got a Toyota compact SUV. And you know, I'll show you guys the overflow a little bit and then and I think I'll wrap things up. Again, just keep a, just a quick reminder, National Alamo and Enterprise are all the same fleet. So even though I started breaking up the videos just because they're a little bit too long, um, they're all pretty much the same company. So yeah, yeah, I can't even show you much of the overflow. It's just so packed in here. They got so many cars, which is awesome to see. All right, so I think we'll wrap things up. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, just a quick reminder, uh, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. If you wanna see more of these videos, give it a quick like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.